Tennessee is home to more than 2 million head of cattle. Montgomery County farmer Keith Stephen owns about 40 of them. As a cattle farmer, Stephen spends much of his time working on his pastures. Oh, that's one of the major elements. If you want to keep your numbers up to where you can achieve some sort of break even or maybe a little profitability. But in recent years, some Tennessee producers have seen the grass they grow to nourish their cattle actually harm them. We've had some really disastrous results when people would over fertilize. John Barty is the Montgomery County Extension Director. In recent years, he's seen several cattle in his county suffer from a condition known as nitrate toxicity. It typically occurs in dry weather conditions when a lack of moisture prevents plants from converting nitrates to proteins. When a cow eats a high nitrate forage, the nitrates replace oxygen molecules in their blood, which can sometimes cause death. Most folks don't notice any problems until they really are seeing dead calves or dead cows and, and uh, that's usually the first sign. Debbie Joins works at the University of Tennessee Soil, Plant and Pest Center in Nashville. Each year, she screens hundreds of forage samples for high levels of nitrates. According to Joins, nitrate problems typically occur in warm season grasses like Sudan and Bermuda. She says farmers with these grasses should perform a simple free screen on their pastures and hay crop in order to avoid problems down the road. Once you cut your hay and you have the high nitrates, there's nothing you can do about it because it's not going to dissipate. Check it before you cut it. Um, that would be my, my advice. Uh, if you find it, I would say give it a little bit of time. Hope for rain uh, because rain kind of helps that plant utilize it, utilize the nitrates into proteins. While the weather is out of our control, Barty says using fertilizer more efficiently can also help to keep pastures safe for cattle. I think it's something we really got to take a look at is how much nitrogen we're putting on it. Sure, we can get the growth when we dump it on, but we bring on those problems with too much nitrates when we do that. Area farmers will have an opportunity to learn more about nitrate management as well as new developments and forages at the Tobacco, Beef and More Field Day on June 24th. That event will be held at the Highland Rim Ag Research and Education Center in Springfield. You can contact your local county extension agent for more information. In Montgomery County, Ginger Trice reporting.